It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Ben Spoke Brewing Company and this is a can of their Keep It Simple. It's born and brewed in Canberra, Australia. It's a 375 milliliter can. It's 6.8% ABV. But get, get this. Now I've not looked at the back of the can because I want to go into this blind. But it's called a JA IPA. Now I'm thinking, I'm from the UK and I quite like um, Dartmoor Brewery. I'm thinking, is this, is this Jail Ale IPA? Jail Ale IPA. Um, there's quite a famous beer here in the UK called Jail Ale. Um, it's not an IPA, but this is called JA IPA. And I'm kind of thinking, that's the only thing I can get in my head as to what this is. So before I even open it, comment in the comments box, what is a JA IPA? Never heard of it. Could be great though, couldn't it? Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I quite like the can on this. It's got to um, give it a bit of a clean first. It's got a B on the can opener there. B for bent spoke. Does it have the Australian independent badge? Yes, certified independent craft beer from Australia. Thank you very, very much to Trav in Australia for sending me the beer. Oh, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Lovely, lovely looking beer. Fantastic. We got a one to two finger white head. It's a straw colored beer. I say straw colored, it, 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 there is a, an amber look to it at the same time as being straw, but it's quite light. It's a quite light looking beer. You can tell that they've used a lot of light malts in this beer. Slow moving carbonation, hazy, definitely hazy. Is there any sediment in the bottom of the glass? I don't think so. Micro filtered beer then, let's get the aroma. It smells good, really good. My apologies if you can hear the neighbor's washing machine. It's, uh, it's just one of those things. Got the back door open and for sound, you know, you might be able to hear the washing machine in the background. A little bit peppery, a little bit spicy. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, lemony, quite a lemony, zesty, orangey flavoured beer, this one, from the hops, of course. J.A., it's just come to me, Juicy Australian, Juicy Australian IPA. J-A-I-P-A. Is that what it stands, stands for? I was drinking this thinking how juicy this beer was. It was really, really juicy. And then I thought, yeah, this is juicy J. And then A for Australia. <laughs> the brain's working. The brain's working this morning. A little bit peppery, a little bit spicy, very drinkable, very refreshing. A little bit of sweetness to begin with, a little bit of bitterness on the back end. It's like a white pepper spiciness coming through on the back end with that kind of lovely wrapping bitterness on the beer. What I find from Australian craft beer is they're not shy in making their beers bitter. In fact, I drink beer from a lot of countries. And I would say 
the Australians must, must really like their bitterness because I would say out of, if I had to choose a country where they stuck by their maybe kind of older school brewing techniques where they're holding on to that bitterness, I would definitely say Australia. So if you're like me, like me, if you're a fan of bitter beers, then perhaps search for some Australian craft beer because I would say it's generally a little bit more bitter these days than British IPAs or American IPAs because the British and American IPAs have really gone down that kind of juicy New England IPA route even though I think this is called juicy but it's bitter at the same time but really refreshing really lovely beer this let's have a look uh Nothing worthwhile comes easily. Drifting off the beaten track allows you to explore roads less travelled. The drifter series will broaden horizons, drift in and out, and will no doubt bend a few spokes along the way. Uh, drifting in is keep it simple. It's just another IPA. So what is JA IPA then? Is it in fact? It must be. It must be. Maybe scan that QR code if you want to, guys. If you want to pause the video now. If you want to pause the video and scan that QR code, you're very welcome to see what's going on here. But um, I'm going to say Juicy Australian IPA if I'm going to hazard a guess. I'm ready to rate this one. I've been a fan of Ben Spoke Brewing Company. In the past, they've actually sent me uh, their range of beers in black cans, I believe. Um, that was about three years ago, but the beer was terrific, really good, terrific beer. I'm going to rate it. It's very juicy, very tropical, very drinkable, very refreshing, very kind of, very refreshing, I would say. Peppery, spicy, bitter, a little bit of sweetness, loads going on. Loads going on, very tropical with the fruit flavours going on there from the hops. I like it. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.